and we're back to our channel about retinitis pigmentosa and what is life in human consciousness earth plane slash physical matter reality my name is Bruno and this is Bongu today we will be exploring the spiritual perspectives on vision loss first I will ask you what does it mean for you to have a visual disability for me it was a catalyst for growth it was like the main catalyst for growth and once I learned to see this disability as a catalyst for growth I learned to see anything really that happens in my mind in my life sorry as a catalyst for growth so when you have a disability everything will be a bit more difficult that is life pushing you for you to succeed that is life testing you they think okay it was too easy so let's give him a disability so he has a harder time and he can learn more for me especially to my ego it was a, a big blow because I had somehow identified with the persona that could see somehow all right and that persona I was very identified with which was Bruno which was a male which was human it kind of gets slowly shattered and you need to get used to another persona which is which has some disabilities so, if you cannot see very well, this will open your mind to many other experiences that you wouldn't be having if you were able to see well. So, your senses will be more sharp, you, your intuition will be more acute. You will be noticing things that you wouldn't be able to notice if you were able to see well. And all these little things that you notice can easily be used for catalyst for growth in the same case that anything that happens in life can be seen as a catalyst for growth every choice you make every word you say every purchase you make everything is an opportunity and for me my disability it just opened the door for me to see these other opportunities It also helped me not getting so identified with this human persona that I am playing in this incarnation. So I think, okay, this one has a disability. Maybe the previous one didn't have one. The next one maybe will have more disabilities. It's just a game we play to learn some, some stuff. It also makes you more aware of silence, like right now. There's absolute silence. And when people are always distracted by things that they can see, there are too many stimuli, too many things going on everywhere. You don't appreciate silence as much as when you cannot see. Another way another perspective let's say is learning self-acceptance so it would be a bit harder to learn to love yourself and accept yourself if you have disability than if you don't so in my case retinitis pigmentosa was a way to learn to love my disability to love myself and understand myself and once that door was opened, or the light was shed on the fact that I that it was possible to love yourself, even if you are not perfect, that helped me love myself in other areas. So, for example, I love myself even though I'm shy, even though I'm not good at communicating with other people, even though I cannot do this, I cannot do that, maybe I made some mistakes, doesn't matter. If I can love myself for being blind, I can also love myself for 
having done this and that in the past. Another thing that taught me that uh, my disability was to learn to to render. Let's say I have I don't know a million lottery tickets here, and I bought million of these tickets. It is very possible that none of them will win, but if the system thinks that I can learn something from winning the lottery, the ticket will get to me even if I don't buy any ticket. The ticket, somebody will give it to me or it will, I will find it on the street or something will happen that, that will make me help, help me learn these lessons. With the disability, it's the same. So even if I didn't have a disability, the system would have put something in the way for me to learn the same lessons that I'm learning with, with the disability, which are learning how to love, learning how to have faith, learning how to let go, in this case of my persona, Bruno, and learning how to surrender to this very moment without trying to control everything, because we cannot control our disability. We cannot see or we cannot do this or that, and that means we have to learn to surrender and just hope for the best. Another way it helped me is by making me more Mm, more sensitive to the humans around me. So whenever someone speaks, because I cannot see them well, I would listen for some inflections in the voice, the tone of the voice, to feel how they are feeling, what they're thinking, what they're really trying to say. And that's a great way, a great useful thing to communicate with the other humans who are also going through this human life experience. Because you can kind of, it gives you some kind of empathy. So if I hear in the tone of the voice that they are suffering, that also makes me share some love with them, may, makes me feel like they're feeling. Bye.